Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you that how we can calculate Christopher symbol. So I have a problem that is I have to calculate uh, Christopher symbol for a unit sphere, and the equation for unit sphere is this. And I'm given with two uh, uh, matrices, uh, metric tensor entries. You can say that one is G A B, in which A B is written in subscript. Uh, uh, the subscript in uh, is actually shows that it is in covariant form and and the second one in which ab is written in super sub, superscript uh, this shows that it is in contravariant form if you are uh, having problem in these two forms the uh, one is contravariant and, and second is covariant you can see one of my video or uh, in which uh, i explained these two forms uh, so for instance it is written in covariant in which AB is uh, written as a subscript and uh, it is called contravariant in which AB is written um, in a superscript. So we have these two matrices uh, and the GAB is actually the inverse of this. Uh, these two uh, matrices uh, are actually very important in finding Christopher symbol. So let's start. We have formula for Christopher symbol that is written here. Uh, the formula is very lengthy but uh, uh, I will uh, I will tell you the trick that how can you remember it so uh, let's start the symbol for Christopher symbol is actually this uh, like inverted L you may say and it has three indices involving at a time one is A and second one uh, is B and third one is C so what actually Christopher symbol of ABC is actually equal to half of G this G I will tell later but actually this G and how we can uh, find uh, it so uh, this is G and we have the same index A that is written over here this is very important we have a same index A that is written here and we uh, are going to introduce a new one D here that is called a dummy index and the next three entries are very simple what you have to do is to follow a pattern what, uh, what pattern you have to pick the very first one that is B write it here now the dummy D write it here comma and the, and the one you are left with that is C here plus similar way now we are going to do it do the same for C so now write C first here the dummy one again in the second comma the left one here now actually the left one is B and we have to put negative sign here and now what actually B C is it is very simple you have to write both of them here and the dummy one here so this actually is the formula for calculating Christopher symbol now uh, one step further the very important thing is you must know that how many parameters uh, your equation is involving in our case you can easily see that we have two parameters one is actually u and the second one is r so uh, this will decide the variation for d if you have two parameters then d must have two values that is d must be equal to one and d have to be equal to two you you can put two values for d so uh, the parameters are very important in our case we are only dealing with two parameters so what you have to do what actually Christopher symbol is uh, we have to calculate Christopher symbol for each of the entries in the forms I have written here what actually these forms are uh, one one means first row and first column means this very first entry we have to take partial derivative of it with respect to one one means parameter one and our first parameter is actually u similarly now moving forward we have first row and second column now we have to do uh, we have to write uh, first row second column and we have to take partial derivative of it with respect to same parameter one similarly second row and first column we have to write down in down here and we have to take partial derivative with respect to 1 similarly for this entry that is 2 2 we have to take partial derivatives with respect to 1 sorry I forgot to write uh, here 1 so after we after the doing this we have to do same thing for parameter 2 that is this same first row first column we have to take partial derivatives with 2 now the forward one first row second column with respect to two and in a similar fashion the remaining ones so what actually Christopher symbols are we have to take partial derivatives of each 
entries of these matrices uh, with respect to the parameters involving in our equation as we have two parameters so we have to uh, find all of these uh, with respect to one and with respect to two here so uh, i have two methods in our system uh, in our given system one actually is a long method involving some lengthy calculations and the second one is a shortcut method uh, that i will explain to so uh, what actually long method and what actually short method is uh, it only depends uh, in orthogonal systems what actually orthogonal system is though uh, we said the system is orthogonal if we have two zeros here like uh, we have one diagonal you may say of diagonal is equal to zero in this case you can adopt a shortcut method that helps you uh, to calculate crystal symbol in, in in minutes so uh, i'm going to discuss the very first one that is long method so we are uh, i'm going to show you only one and uh, hope so that it will help you to calculate the next ones so i am going to calculate the very first one that is christopher symbol of one one with respect to first parameter that is one so you can see i have uh, already um, done uh, with the parameter so dealing with long method as i am going to find christopher symbol of uh, one 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 so i am going to write one 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 and you can easily verify it through the formula we have for christopher symbol the top one is actually a and the these two lower ones are actually b and c so a is one here b is one here c is one here what you have to do is similar is to just substitute these a b and c in the in this formula so for a equal to one we have to write one here uh, we are not dealing with d uh, for instance uh, we have to write one here two we have to write one here two we have to write one here two mm, left in d we have to write uh, one here two one one and d as it's same so what i did is the same i'm just i just substituted all a b and c values so what i come with is like this now as i told you earlier that d uh, we have two values for d that is one and two this is because we have two parameters one is actually u and the second one is actually r so uh, we are going to uh, uh, put both of them uh, 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 you may say we have to vary we have to uh, give variation so i am going uh, to give variation for i am going to substitute d equal to one here you can see one 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 and one here so it completes my first part and now i'm going to add same here but now with d equal to 2 so 2 2 uh, 2 and this one 2 so as d can have two values so you have to put both ones now the next step is uh, is calculation just uh, you can see that these two will cancel out and uh, what i am having is g11 comma 1 and in here uh, no one is cancelling out so i am going to write it same what actually now g11 is you have to see the metric we have uh, introduced in our question that is these two ones this actually for sub uh, co covariant forms and this actually belong to contravariant form in which as i have to find g11 in which 11 is written in a, in a super subscript form so i'm going to verify it through this matrix and when we are going to find uh, the lower uh, the indices in which indices are written in subscript form we are dealing with this as i am i have g11 in which uh, 11 is written as super sub superscript so what g11 is actually first row first column which is one so i'm going to substitute one here the, ne the next entry is g11 comma one comma indicates uh, the partial derivative of g11 entry with respect to one one means first parameter that is actually u so uh, you can uh, easily verify that uh, the partial derivative of this one with respect to u is zero so partial derivative of uh, g11 with respect to 1 that is partial relative with respect to u is actually 0 so what i'm going to substitute here is 0 and 0 multiplied by something is also 0 so this entry is 0 now moving toward this 
what actually g12 is 12 similarly is written in super uh, superscript form so i'm going to verify by it, this so 12 is first row second column that is u so i'm going to put zero here and putting zero here will make all other terms zero two and what we are left with the christopher symbol of one one with respect to one is actually zero so we are here where we have now a very first christopher symbol and we have to calculate now the remaining ones with the same method so method is uh, not very difficult what uh, you are going to do is to uh, give variations for the d value put the values from these two uh, these two uh, matrices and solve it further now i will show you that uh, how shortcut method is applicable in this uh, form uh, and uh, i'm again telling you this shortcut only works for the orthogonal system the system in which you have a matrix element like this these two zeros of diagonal entries are zeros so what actually it is it is if you have christopher symbol uh, for a case that you have two same indices like a here a here and c here what you are going to do is taking half g uh, double it that is a a and take derivative of these two entry with respect to the remaining one that is c here so uh, now i will show how how you can apply this you can see here one one means these two are same these two are uh, two same but you can take any two as one one is same so what you are going to do is uh, find one 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 means uh, first row and first column in this matrix that is actually one first row first column that is actually one and the next one will give you hint for its derivative so you have to derivate one one with respect to one so derivating one one with respect to one that is the uh, first parameter u will always give you zero so i can write directly one one equal to zero so this is how the shortcut method works and if we have a case we have uh, uh, a b c are different both of these three indices are different but actually the formula is half g double the above indices that is a a and take partial derivative of different one that is b c uh, with respect to this this a one uh, a there that is a and you have to put negative sign too so uh, in case of orthogonal system this lengthy uh, formula this lengthy formula is now reduced to a very short one uh, this it only works for orthogonal system uh, so here uh, we are uh, and i left the other christopher symbols for you to solve uh and uh, calculate it and do subscribe and sorry for my bad english and do like and comment too that's all